Hi everyone, and welcome to the online marketing video series presented by the Texas Young Lawyers Association. In this video, I'll introduce how to use Canva to create graphics for social media posts and other content. If you go to canva.com and register a free account, you'll be brought to this homepage or dashboard. If you're looking just to create quickly uh, social media content, a graphic that you can post on your accounts, go to the right hand corner where you'll see create a new design. Whenever you click that button, the uh, the search bar will auto populate different options. Uh, there will be suggested options, but if you're looking for uh, a particular social media app, you can type that in. For example, if you want to post on LinkedIn, you can create a, a LinkedIn based post. But generally, whenever your graphic you create can be posted on any social media app. Instagram tends to be the most finicky with size requirements, and so I like to go with the Instagram post for square. And whatever one you select from this list will generate in this new um, canvas uh, and on the left hand side over here, different templates that you can use. In this video, I'll be showing how to create quickly a graphic that you can use to promote a CLE event and a CLE speaker. So if you type in events, event, it will come up with event templates that you can use that can be changed pretty easily. Um, I'll go ahead and use this one. This is, a, when you click on the template, it will come over here into the canvas where you can adjust pretty much any object on this particular template to make it larger or smaller. I generally like to have the text up top to be bigger like this. Um, and so pretty much everything on this template, as I mentioned, can be modified including the background color. So if you wanted to click on an object, you'll see it here, this bar change, depending upon what you clicked on. Um, generally, the templates, and one of the, the benefits of having Canva templates is that the design's already done for you. So if you're like me and you don't have a great design eye, uh, the color scheme and the organization of the graphic is already there. Where you do want to make some edits is going to be to the uh, default images and the default text because that's what's going to change to promote your very own CLE. So how do you change this image? So if you notice, you collect, uh, select the different objects on uh, the canvas. Uh, you can double click it to, to move it around some, but if you actually wanted to change it, you'll have to go over to the left hand side where you can upload your own images. Here are some prior ones that I have uploaded um, to use for different social media posts. Um, and the way that you get your image in here is easy. You drag and drop. So once you find your, your image that you wanna use, I like to keep mine on the desktop for easy access, and you just drop to upload your file. So once you've done that, you click the file, and sometimes it will, if you're clicked on it already, it will already change the photo. But if you, if you don't and it comes up as its own box, you just hover it over and it changes the photo for you. Now you can change the size of this as well. If you don't like the way it looks, you can make it smaller depending upon what works best for your photo. You can also go in to the photo and move it around this way and to increase the size uh, so that the, uh, image takes up more of that particular space. Now, once you change your, your photo, you can change the text, such as upcoming events. If you have a multiple, if you just have one, you can perhaps delete the rest of these boxes to create more space to describe the CLE event that you want to promote. So once you've deleted all the extra stuff, you can change the shape of this box to make it bigger. You can change the date to make it a little bit more clear as to what the 16 stands for. So 116, or maybe you can do January 16th as an example. Um, move the text down, just change the elements sizes of these different boxes and such like this. Uh, just extend out the boxes so it all fits within the background object. Sometimes it's a little challenging to pull it, but eventually you'll get it. You can then change the text in here to be more descriptive of the CLE that you want to present. So if it's Appeals 101, change the name with Michael Ritter. 
And then if you wanted to uh, rearrange it, you'll see the dotted purple lines here that show where it's you know aligned pretty well. If you wanna add more text, you can always go to the text option here. But if you notice that, it's gonna pop up this new thing that's not formatted the same. So instead of trying to reformat added text, what I do is I'll come to a text box and I'll do Control C, Control V, that's a copy paste. And what that does is it just duplicates whatever I've already clicked on. You can also right click and uh, do a, a Control D to duplicate uh, the text box. That way it has all the text formatting so that you don't have to go back and do that either. So once you have your text box, you can insert description of the CLE course here. Um, and then modify that to wherever, however looks best, increase it, uh, decrease the box size. And if you want it to be uh, a little extra, you can always add uh, some more to it. So if you have um, you know, your, uh, your logo, you can add that to the template here. If you want to reduce, uh, remove these white backgrounds from these posts, um, from these images, you have the option here, but this background mover is a, a paid option. So uh, whenever you come across a paid option, you can always find an alternative online. So remove background from photo. Go use, you want to skip these ads, go to remove background from image, upload the file, pick the file, which is our Texas Young Lawyers Association. And you download it. And there you go, you have the removed background. I've already downloaded this one. It's on my, uh, my desktop here. So once we're back into Canva, you just upload it the same way that you uploaded that private previous file. And then, oops. Drag and drop. And then the background's been removed, so you don't have to worry about that uh, white space behind the logo. And there you go. Now the next step is to get this image off of Canva and onto your social media. So how do you do that? The next step is to go to the top right corner where it says share, go down to download, and it'll give you different uh, file types that you can download into. It suggests PNG, so I'll just use that. Click download and Boom, it's off of Canva on your computer. Now, if you don't know where the default folder is for your downloads, you can go ahead and find it. I have to just drag and drop it to the desktop temporarily so that it's there to uh, easily access when I post it on social media. Then I go to my social media account that I wanna post on. I've opened up TYLA's Facebook page. Click here to create a post, that's an old one. Um, add some text about the CLE, and then you drag and drop that into your social media um, post draft. Once everything's finalized, just double check it and click post. And that's how you create a uh, graphic to promote a CLE using Canva.